hello everyone welcome back to our youtube channel so in today's video we are going to discuss an exciting topic building a weather application in python using open weather api so basically we will be focusing on fetching the weather's data of any specific city by using open weather map api so before dive into our code let's quickly discuss what open weather map api is so basically open weather map api is a service that provides weather data and forecast worldwide through an api and it helps developers to get access to the real-time weather information and they can integrate it into their applications and into real-time projects so now let's discuss the code so basically first we are going to generate an http request to an api and retrieve the data into the json format so first i am going to import the request so basically uh, it is uh, this request library will help me to generate an http request you can see in the description that it is saying that it is going to generate an http request so basically it will be generating an http request into an api and then i am going to import json so basically this json uh, we are we are using it uh, when we will be retrieving our data into this format all right so now let's uh, see our api so before uh, proceeding further i want you to take a look at this website so basically it is uh, open weather map api so where uh, you can create free apis for your program so i will provide this link into the description so you can make on your own first you need to log in here by our account and then you can create an api so basically i will i am using this api here so i am retrieving the weather information of my country or my city it is up to you so basically i am using this api key so let's copy it i already created this api key so basically it is super easy you can just click here and just copy this key and then uh, save it somewhere now i am going to create a function here so i am get weather so basically this uh, weather function will take an argument i am naming it city now uh, let's discuss further so now let's uh, move forward so i am going to create a variable called api Key. so basically this will be the api key that we are going to create and let's paste the api we have copy in the website and now uh, i will be using the base url so basically this base url uh, it, it is the endpoint for uh, for the api to retrieve data so basically i have already copy this url I recommend uh, you can just copy and paste. Uh, I will be provide this code into the description. You can copy the URL from there. All right. Now, now uh, we are going to define the parameters. So I am creating a variable parameter, and it is a basically it is a, a dictionary data type. So I am going to create three. So basically, we are we will be retrieving three informations of any specific city regarding weather information so first is the queue which is basically i am naming it city which we have already defined here so the second thing that we are going to is epic so basically it is the format uh, in which the api will be res uh, generating response so i am going to convert it into our required parameters so i am naming it api key which we have already created the variable and then we have units so basically uh, units are the metric uh, we have different metrics for different units so basically these are our three parameters now let's proceed further now i am going to create another var uh, variable response so basically this response variable uh, will get the response from our api so i am going to use the request parameter or the request library we have just used and using this get method 
so basically this request dot get so basically it will be it will be generating a get request into the open weather map api so in return the api will generate a json response we, uh, that we will be storing into an variable so now so i am using this base url and parameter so this parameters uh, are equals to parameters all right so let's change it here so i can say that parameters are equals to parameters all right uh, to store the response of the api in json format i am going to create weather data so basically in this variable i will be storing the response of the api so i am using response dot json all right so so basically the response will be stored in this variable as a json object so i am now i will be using this uh, if condition if in case the weather data uh, is unable to find and the risk the basically the if the weather data is unable to find the correct response in api so i will be using caught so the it will be generating an error which is 4404 all right then uh, i can generate a response so now it is correct so now i can generate a response uh, that can say that i can print city not found so i can say that the city is not found and please check the spelling so basically it is uh, i am going to apply this condition in case if someone uh, misspell the city name or write the city that does not exist or any of these scenarios then this error will be generated all right and api as the because the api response will not be created successfully then uh, it will be generating error and showing this message at the console now let's dive in basically we will be uh, fetching three things as the weather information for any specific city so uh, the first thing that we are going to uh, retrieve uh, the temperature so this is the uh, temperature uh, so i am using it as uh, main so basically it is a format that it has been stored in weather data so and then i am using mp so basically it is the short form for the temperature and we will be uh, writing humidity all right uh, it has also been stored in this weather data and same main and then i can write here humidity all right all right now the third parameter we have here is description so basically what is the weather look like so it is the description so again weather data in this we have first we have weather all right so it will be describe the weather of the city so it will be describing the weather forecast here at the first line of the weather and we will be describing the description further description let's let's print everything into the console so so uh, we can say that uh, the weather is weather in the country that we are going to so basically if the country name is stored in the city variable so i can say that uh, this is the description about uh, the country weather in dash so then the details will be printing in this line 
so that uh, as we have discussed that uh, we will be printing three parameters as the weather information so i can say that the first temperature temperature so and then i can use this temp variable all right so basically it will be giving data into centigrade all right now uh, i can also print the humidity so i can say that humidity is humidity and then i can just humidity all right the humidity variable will be printed so the humidity will be shown in percentage so i write the unit here and then i can say that the print all right now the last thing is description so i can say that the description all right and description will be printed into the console all right now uh, we have discussed so far that these the country that we are going to extract the weather information with so it will be printed here and the details will be printed further into the next line now uh, let's uh let's call the function and print everything into the console to see the results in action all right so first this city variable so the basically this city uh, variable i am retrieving the data for my city you can name here whatever you want to retrieve the data for all right so you can write here uh, in M, in any country you are from in any city you are from you can write the data you can write the name of your city here it will be retrieving data for your city all right so i am doing it for my city and i am going to call this function and write the city variable all right so basically by just calling the city variable we have already defined it up here so it won't be a big issue that uh, already this where this information is saved in this variable all right so let's run this program now there you have it so we can see that uh, the weather in this karachi city the temperature is this it is hot here and 55 percent humidity and what the description is scattered clouds so basically it is the description in where we have put the first zero here all right so basically it is the first line of the description that it is has scattered clouds and if what if uh right here uh the name of the different city so if i write here or and save it and run this program you can see that uh you can also you can see that the temperature there is that and humidity is 45 percent and few clouds all right there are not much clouds here right now basically it is uh, the real time information all right so what if i write uh, something misspelling? spelling all right it is not a city correct so i'm going to again run this program so basically it will be generating the error what will be the error it is saying that city not found please check the spelling all right this is the message that i want you you to see that it will be printing onto the console all right now again we can see that it is printing fine all right yes so that is how we can retrieve weather information for any specific city so basically it is the starting point uh, you can further utilize this code into building the more advanced weather applications so guys thank you for watching i hope you find this video informative if you find this video informative please give it a thumbs up and subscribe our youtube channel for more exciting python tutorials and also feel free to ask any questions and suggestions into the comment section below until then happy coding